All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bring in clips into Premiere Pro so you can start working on a project. In the previous tutorial, we went over how to set up a new project. In this tutorial, we're going to look at bringing in clips that I can begin editing to complete the project. So what we see here is, is our Premiere Pro desktop layout. And if yours looks a little bit different, one thing to double check is underneath the window option of the main menu, there's a workspace option. These different workspaces make certain panels and panel groups available to us depending on what we're doing at that moment. So if I'm doing a lot of, say, color correction, I may choose the workspace called color correction. And what happens there, it just simply shifts panels around and makes some panels more readily accessible than others. And in this case, the panels that we might use most often when we're doing color correction are available to us. I'm going to go back to the workspace option off the window menu, and I'm going to choose the editing workspace. Now, if you're on the editing workspace and yours looks a little bit different, it might be that you may have adjusted panels around a bit, and so we're no longer at the default editing workspace. To reset that workspace, after selecting editing off the workspace menu, you can go down to the bottom of that submenu that pops out there and choose reset current workspace, and that will just simply shift panels around to go back to the default setting of the editing workspace. The quickest way to bring in clips to, to a project can capture your clips right from here. If you're working on a off a, a video camera that that does HD, you can connect this right to your your camera and bring in clips that way. And actually, if you're doing that, connecting your camera to your computer down here in the media browser, you can go directly to your computer to bring in those clips. Or you can copy the clips from your camera to your hard drive, and then once you're inside Pre Premiere Pro bring in those clips from your hard drive. And that's kind of the scenario we're going to work with here. I've already copied some clips to my hard drive, and we we'll now bring them into Premiere Pro. So again, as in any Adobe application, there's always three to five ways to do one thing. I'm going to show you my preferred way, then I'll mention some of the others. The quickest way to do this, and I, I'm, I tend to be a uh, use keyboard shortcuts, so over my project panel, notice I have the yellow bounding box around. That's my active panel at the moment. That's important. I'm going to do Control I. Control I is the keyboard shortcut for file import. Now I'm going to jump to where I know I have some clips stored on my computer. And let's say, actually, I don't want to go quite that deep. Let's go to another folder. And let's say I want to bring in. Um, medieval hero and I'm going to click open I should see that clip show up here in my project pa project panel the project panel is where all your clips are stored that you brought into a project now you may or may not be using them in the project but they're available to us here in the project panel so that's that's one way to bring in another way to bring in a clip you can also click on from the main menu, choose File Import. Notice keyboard shortcut. There's Control I to the right there. And let's bring in another. Do a we don't want to steal. Let's do a bike low shot. So that's how you can bring in one clip at a time. If I'm going to bring in multiple clips at a time, go back to my Control I. Go back to where I have some clips stored. I can. Click on one, control click on some others to bring all these in at one time. If they happen to be in sequential order, or yeah, in, in sequence of one another, I could do a click on the top one, shift click on the bottom one, and it will select all the clips in between. Or control click will choose each one separately. Now you notice I have my clips available to, to us on the timeline. Real quickly here before I complete this this tutorial, I want to show you how we can organize clips. Now, this may not be the well. I was going to say this may not be the best sample here, but we'll we'll make it work. It's it's a great idea to organize your clips in your project panel because you, you can see you can bring in 
multitude of clips that your, your project panel is going to get very, very busy and can become difficult to find a particular cl clip if you're looking for an individual clip. So one way to do that is to organize your project panel via using folders. At the bottom of the project panel, there's a, a, a row of icons, but in the middle one, there's a picture of a folder. I'm going to click on that. It's actually in the project panel called a new bin, and it creates a new bin, and we'll, we'll put our medieval clips in here. So make a folder called Medieval Clips. I can simply click and drag those particular clips down into that folder. Now you might do it. This is one way to organize your clips. You might find it's easier. Maybe you have a folder for all your movie clips, another folder for audio clips, another folder for still images, etc. Just figure out a way to organize your project panel so it makes it works best in, in your environment. But I do highly recommend using folders or bins in your project panel to help organize the myriad of assets that you can bring into into a project. So that's how you bring clips into a project. The next tutorial will cover how to start editing those clips.